And we back. All right, right where we left off. Tornado about to head out of town and head to Endor, I guess. I guess we're going to steal that dude's doggo? Or is the dog going to go back home? I guess we're going to find out. Is doggo going to go with us? Or I guess so. Isn't this area going to have much harder enemies, though? These are easy enemies, right? I remember these. Obviously, the mole is easy, but the tornake, uh, the stump chumps are easy too, right? Yeah, they are. Easy enemies. Okay. I'm okay with this. I was just thinking, like, Endor has has harder enemies, because this is where we were last chapter with harder, you know, with a better party, and so it had harder enemies. But maybe the game changes just for this chapter while you're here as Torneko. I'm just wondering what kind of hoops we got to jump through to find... Elena, assumedly that we're going to rejoin up with her. Because playing with one character is going to get old real fast. He needs a party. And I'm just assuming Elena will be his party. For all I know, he'll get some temporary party members too, besides this dog who doesn't even fight. Welcome to the town of Endor. That's where I'm at. Is there any reason to talk to everybody here? I'll stay here. It's only six gold now. Fucking, what the hell? It's like 18 gold for Elena. Is that because I had three party members? Maybe. Also, thank you for the welcome back there, Marl. Appreciate it. You what? You came here to Endor to earn some cash. Yeah, you got that right. There's loads of ways to earn cash here. Have a drink over there first, though. Take it slow, one at a time. I mean, you could gamble here. Hello there, make yourself comfortable and have a nice drink or three. Yeah, you are the vixen who tries to get me to get drunk, you bitch. Fucking red dress. I know how you work your feminine wiles. I'm an itinerant poet, but, well, you wouldn't know it. There's not much money in it, so I've been studying magic as well. My services are for hire, so you, if you so desire. Huh. I don't have enough gold for you. But if I need a fucking magic user, I guess I can hire him? Here for Silver Goddess Statue too, I suppose. Sure. Can't say I blame you. We all know it's sell for a tidy profit, that gem. May the best man win. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I didn't know I was here for a statue, but cool. Hello, I'm Ragnar. Oh! Oh, it's Ragnar McRyan from Berlin. What are you doing here, sir? I'm traveling a boot looking for someone. And I came here around here thinking it might be an Andor attorney. Oh, but that's all done and dusted now. And I did not have any joy. And it seems the casino's set to be closed for a wee while as well. So casino's closed too, huh? Wow, I didn't expect to run into Ragnar here. Maybe Ragnar will join us. Hell yeah. Join me, Ragnar. I mean, he's looking for the hero. Isn't that what, like, his goal was? To find the hero? <sighs> I want Ragnar on my team. He's a beast. He got, like, free level ups and shit. I want him. He's too strong right now, though. There are amazing treasures in all sorts of strange places. Deep inside caves, for example. Just where the most suspicious monsters live. This is the English place, so they don't have an accent. Well, unless I wanted to do accent. You can hire this guy, too? Man, you can have a bodyguard. You can have a magic user. You just got to spend money. You only can hire him for a certain amount of days, though, which might be a plenty, but we'll see. I do sell the Holy Lance here, which he cannot even wield. Ooh, he can use the Abacus, though. This is probably worth getting for him. Most likely. In fact, when you look at his artwork, he's actually holding this. The Abacus. That must be his best we like type of weapon. Did I already check the armor shop? I don't think I did. Iron Apron is for him. Not surprised there either. Alright, well, we're going to have to load up on stuff when I get some more money. I don't have... Oh, wait, I did get some plate armor. How much is that shit worth?
Ivy's armor has been forged from fine steel. Sure, it's handy for defense, so it is, but it's fierce heavy. It doesn't look like I can equip it. 1725. So tempting. So tempting. Because <sighs> I could, like, hire party members and buy stuff. We've always had money in the family. It's only encourages my husband to buy ever more peculiar things for his collection. But we've got more than he can even spend. Ha 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 ha. Shut the fuck up. Young lady, the house spends all her time staring at the sky. We've already learned about that. Break all your fucking pots and your barrels. Get fucked, old, old, old. Fucking rich people. Get fucked. I'm a collector, you know, of antiques and curios from days gone by. I've come to hear of a silver goddess statue that's out, still out in the wild, as it were. Up for grabs if you like. I'd pay anything for it, anything at all. So if you come across it, don't hesitate to bring it to me. Okay, okay. Got it. Look how fast the clouds go across so I could be a sign, you know, like something bad's happening somewhere. Yeah. Evil forces are gathering. Prepare for evil. All right. Uh, to the castle then. Let's go talk to the king or princess or whoever and deliver the letter. This is the king Norman's throne. A king would grant honors to anyone without the slightest regard for his own safety. According to my research, there was once in existence a blade known as the, ne the Zenithian sword. They say the person who possessed it could climb up to the heavens, of course. I don't know what the truth is behind the tales. I don't know, but I want it. Give me the sword. I want it. All right. Calm down. We'll get it one day. I am honored to welcome a guest from such a far off place. It appears that you are some kind of merchant. You've come to ask permission to establish a shop in Endor, I presume. Sure. Very well. I consider your request. You may leave now. Wow. Thanks. You're from Lakanaba? Then the bridge must have been repaired, I presume. Find the prince's letter in the items menu and select. Oh, she won't. Uh it wants me to do that. Okay, sure. We can do that. Tornico reads the prince's letter. My beloved Ronnie, I still daren't mention anything about our affair to Da. And I'm just after finding out that he plans to invade your dear land of Endor. I had to do something before that happened. Please inform your father before it's too late. Oh, my Regan. Or my Regan. So selfless. I must inform father at once. Daddy! Ah, my dear Veronica, I know. I overheard what the gentleman said. But if that's no cause for alarm. Now, it's Mr. Tulloon, I believe. I would like you to deliver this letter to His Majesty King Seamus of Ballymoral. Got a royal scroll. I trust I can rely on you. It is most important. You are but a humble merchant, after all. What else do you have to do? Do I have any mini medals yet? Uh, no. Actually, I haven't found any of those yet, Resin. Or maybe I did find one with Ragnar. I didn't find... I, I, rem I think I remember finding one, but it was with Ragnar, so I don't have it right now. Anyway, let's head back to fucking... Toontown. Drop this shit off. Valley Moral. Murder some Wigglies along the way. I think I have to use the item. Tornico reads out the royal scroll. Your Majesty King Seamus of Ballymoral, I apologize for the rather abrupt nature of this missive, but there is an urgent matter I must bring to your attention. It seems my daughter, Princess Veronica, and your son, Prince Regan, are in love. Though I would not recommend ex excessive haste in the matter, I wish to propose that they marry. Sincerely, King Norman of Endor. Oh, <gasps> so that's the... Oh, so that's the Kraik, is it? Well, if Regan marries Veronica, he'll be the next King of Endor in any case. I'll lay claim to Endor without even having to lift a finger or so I will. Ahem. <clears throat> so, um, your service to the country is duly noted. I'll send an envoy to Endor right away. You can leave now. Bitch. Okay, well, let's go talk to the sun real quick before we go. 
What's his name now? Aye, that's it, Archaeotect. Well, he's finally turned up. The bridge will be fixed in no time. Tis that about time, too. The Architect, what's his name now? Aye, that's it. Archaeotect. What's, uh, jump, jump, I didn't mean to talk to you again. Accident. Oh, this is him right here. There's a desperate shortage of armor here in the castle. No, this is the armor guy. Sure. What happens if I sell this? No, 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 no. I heard the news from my father. If you go to Endor, please give this message to Princess Veronica for me. Tell her I can't wait till we're married. Okay. This here is the Princess Princess of Charles Humber. There's no place for a common arms merchant. Then fuck you. Also, hi, Frog. What's up? How you doing? Been kind of quiet today in the chat, I see. Tis okay, though. All right. Heading back to the fucking King of Endor real quick, and then I'll try and figure out what to do next. You just found out that your tax situation blows. What else is now? Fair enough. That sucks to hear, Frog. Taxes go just in general. They blow. Fuck taxes. I mean, I don't mind paying taxes in general, as long as they're being used for what they're supposed to be used for, but we all know that they ain't the case. And that's why it's bullshit. Ah, uh, Mr. Taloon, welcome back. I have already received a reply from Bally Moral. It's good news, and largely thanks to you. As promised, I hereby grant you permission to open a shop in Endor. Thank you. Wait, as your services go between our hands, be sure to inform the... Uh, okay. I can hardly believe it, for I would love to be recognized at last. I can marry my dear Regan. Your name's Tornico, isn't it? Thank you, Tornico, from the bottom of my heart. You're welcome. You know you're not married yet. Just saying. Anyway, I, I, but I am, so never mind. The indoor attorney was merely, very nearly won by a man calling himself Sorrow the Manslayer. He practically had it in the bag. But, the mis but then he disappeared halfway through the proceedings. I wonder who he was. Huh. I wonder who he was also. I wonder if he was... Huh. I wonder if Sorrow the Manslayer was actually Ragnar, and he was just trying to find... And he was just trying to find the strongest in the land or whatever. The hero. I wonder if that's the case. I never really did explore this castle, did I? Deary me, so many things to wash, and not enough minutes today to wash them. Can I go down here? <laughs> Nothing down here. Huh. wonder how I get that treasure chest. Probably some locked door I can't open right now. Oh, are you the greengrocer? What? You sell weapons? I'm sorry, but you're in the wrong place then. Then here's this. This is the kitchen, bitch. This is the bitch kitchen, bitch. Be careful of that sorrow guy. Be careful of that sorrow guy. Okay, well, I don't know what he looks like. How do I know to be careful of who I don't even know I'm looking for? There's a fellow with a funny name, Arch Defect or something like that, who's been fixing bridges all over the place. Now, both the way north and the way east are open again. Oh, the bridge down here is open, too. I did notice the bridge was there. He fixed both bridges. Nice. Ragnar fought a monster called Sorrow's Pawn back in Chapter 1. Did he now? I actually forgot about that. I don't like to gossip, but they say Princess Veronica's got a secret level lover, you know. Can't imagine to begin who could it be. Of course, I wouldn't want to pry. Well, it's not my place, is it? Yeah, but you're over here gossiping about it. It's bad enough. Betch. All right. Uh... Where was the shop that was closed? Like, that needed... It? Oh, was it this one right here? No. I'm trying to remember where that shop was that was locked. Like it didn't have a it didn't have anybody in it. 
That wasn't in this town, was it? I don't think so. Or maybe it was. Oh, maybe this is it. It is this one, right? Sorry, is the shop downstairs closed, you say? Yes, well, I'm getting on the younger and ideal world. I sell and use up the money to retire somewhere nice. How about it? Then I'll sell it to you for 35,000 coins. I don't have that much. You haven't got enough money, young man. I may be old, but I'm not daft. Well, I have a place where I can get a shop if I had the money. That's a lot of money, man. Like, even selling that armor is only going to get me, like, 1700 Huh. Hmm. I feel like maybe walking across a bridge might be dangerous. Let me save state. I haven't done that in a while. Let me see what's going on over here. If, it's, if the enemies end up being hard, I'll just run away. What? Welcome to our inn, Ruri Traveler. Our rate is 10 gold per... No, I'm good. Farewell, intrepid traveler. Come again any time. That was a random battle? What? Started excavating this tunnel so I could get a port to a port town I'd heard of in the east. Tis me dream to travel the world. You see, to have a ship to me name and go off and search a treasure. But I ran out of gold, so I did. Tis a pricey business digging a tunnel, lad. And in jig time, I found these gray hairs on me head. If only I could raise another 60,000 gold coins. Wow. Okay. So once I get a shop, I should be able to earn the money I need to get through here, I guess. 60,000. Man, I've never seen that kind of money in the Dragon Quest games I've played. That's crazy money. That's crazy talk, kids. Oh boy, what is this place? Can't go in the water. Can ride the raft. Oh, oh. Can go whatever way you want on the raft. Lugworm and a vampire bat. Are these guys going to be way too hard? I'm probably going to regret being here. Well, I got to level up, so that's cool. But yeah, this is bad news bears. I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Not good enough to be here by myself. Also, no, I'm not poisoned. I walked through a poison. What was up with that random inn that popped up? Maybe I should have stayed at it. It was so weird. Wait, what? Okay. I was like, this isn't good. I lost my money, huh? I mean, I didn't have a ton of money. Oh, no, I have that box. I didn't lose no stinking money. I have the fucking steel strong box. So I don't lose. Did I lose less money or no money? Yay. No, I don't lose any money. Sweet. Awesome. Oh, I'm back home, actually. I didn't actually come back here and talk to anybody once I got that box, did I? Even if Tornico dies, a steel box, yes, protect your money. Yes, I got it, X Gamer. I figured that out already. But anyway, yo, uh, DJ, if you gotta go, have a good night, man. Have I been over to Endo already? Yes, I have. You have, have you? Ah, that's grand. I bet it's a live, fairly live Craig over there, isn't it? Okay. Already dealt with it. I guess I'm just gonna go. All right, we're not gonna go across the river on that side quite yet. 
We ain't ready. I guess I'm gonna head west. Maybe check out the the uh, the bazaar or whatever if it's still there. If it's still there. Splatty punk, you fucked up, punk. These guys hit way too hard for my current party. My god. Way too hard. Don't like it. Not a fan. Alright, so I think my goal is figure out a way to get 35k gold. There's gotta be a way. Maybe I'll go talk to the Ragnar dude again real quick. Just to see if he has anything to say. And then if not, I'll go to another town. Nothing. So does this dude suck? I mean, overall, he kind of sucks, Drew, yes. But I can hire party members if I really want to, which is interesting. But by himself, yes, he sucks. Oh, that's right. I got to cross this shit. I forgot about that. Is there anybody else here besides the innkeeper? No. Oh, yeah. A long way away, somewhere in a very furthest corners of the world, a sword known as the Zenithian sword lies in quiet repose. If I were to, f it were to find itself in the wrong hands, in the hands of forces of evil, the world as we know it would be destroyed. You must find this sword, one, and guide the hand of the righteous to its hilt. Okay. Yeah, I think the biggest thing about him is he doesn't go first. He always goes last. He's very slow. But he's a big tubby boy, so what do you expect? Oh, I can't go through here? Oh, that's why this door has a fucking lock thing. Because now I can't go through here without a dang key. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Well, shiz nuggets. Well, then. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do next, then. What was up here? Just dead end. I wonder if there's somebody else in town that can help me. Wasn't this where the bazaar was at? Or was the bazaar like above in the upper area? Also, holy shit. I'm doing two damage. I don't want to fight this guy. Nah. The bazaar was in the upper area. The one that you have to teleport across to. These archers are too strong. Looks like he's wearing fucking pajamas. It kind of does. Kind of does. Maybe I need to go to that cave. I don't think I'm doing that cave without a party, though. 400 gold? You know what? Let's hire this guy. I don't like dogs. I only do it if the dog goes. Are you fucking kidding me? have to get rid of the damn dog. Gotta be shitting me. I mean, to be fair, the dog doesn't do shit for me anymore. <sighs> Remember the Simpsons where Homer gets super fat and wears a moo-moo? 
Um, uh, no. No, I don't, but I can believe it. A scissor beetle appears! Should've bought some more of those dang Chimera wings. I can just fly. It's fine. It's not the longest walk in the world, and the battle encounter rate isn't even the worst. It was much worse on Dragon Quest 2 and 3. Hey, a free Oaken Club to sell. Woot. Alright. Let's go drop the doggo off. How's she cutting, Tornico? You coming for Fido back? Yep. Have you been a good dog for our man here? You have you, Fido? Right, back in your cage, boy. Why you keep Fido in a cage? It feels so wrong. I wish you all the best with whatever it is that you're up to, Torneku. Hope it works out for you. You know what? Let me all go home too and just kind of talk to my wife. Maybe have a a good a goodbye fuck. You know. You're late today. Oh, I've been gone for a few days. In case you haven't noticed. That's pretty funny that she packs us a new lunch anyways. Son? Duh, I have something to tell you. The innkeeper, blah, blah, blah. I already talked to him. Fuck him. <laughs> All right, we got rid of the dog. Now we can hire a party. Woohoo. I wonder if I should save up enough to hire the other dude, too. That guy costs 600 though. I can sell a couple things. I know that. You think his wife's getting around town? Why you say that? You don't think she? You don't think the blue mustache? She doesn't like to go for a ride on that blue mustache. If you know what I'm saying. You know she takes that blue mustache ride. All right. Let me sell a couple of these things real quick. how much money I can scrounge up. Fine dagger. Bye bye. I have enough to hire the mage by himself. Sell both of these. Sell this. Look at this dude. What are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? <laughs> She's probably doing the dog owner. Ah, uh, that's fucked up. No, I don't want to buy stuff. I wanted to fucking hire people. Um, yeah, let's go hire. Let's just hire the this guy first over here. I hate digs. I will not work with you if you have digs. I'll be your faithful servant. Wherever you go, we have a hardy boy. Remember, he's only there for five days. Hardy boys. He'll be an extra hitter. That's all I really care about. I would be like to hire the mage as well, but I don't have the money, so. Let's go deep diving. Okay, you know what? I know exactly what we need to do. This statue is going to have, or this statue, this cave is going to have the statue we're looking for. That's what it is. And then once we have the statue, we can get a bunch of money to buy the shop. And then to buy the, then after you buy the shop, you can make the money to make the, the cave, open up the cave. That's the series, the order of events. Also, check out this guy's portrait up there. What a douche. Fucking chin strap flavor saving ass douche. Also, love love from a boy Tarnico, level six baby. And he learned eye for distance. Also, it's a D knife. What's up, dragon? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Oh, we're going for a ride, y'all. Good luck getting back out of here now. I wish I brought a Chimera wing. I fucked up. I hope we could find one here. That'd be great. 
I can probably cast that spell so I fight less enemies. Let me see what I for distance is. Locate nearby settlements? That's interesting. Fly guy, oh boy. Get him, Hardy boy. Jesus, getting my asshole handed to me right now. Maybe we'll fly up some level ups, though. That'd be nice. I got a bunch of herbs and this fucking packed lunch. Treasure! Hey, it's a Chimera Wing. Exactly what I wanted. What luck, it said. Indeed. Are right, you going to go to sleep, Resin? Thank you for hanging out. Appreciate it as always. Have a good night. Great book. And another level up. Another one. And we got a suit of chainmail for free. Let's see how that pans out. Anybody? Not better than what I'm wearing. And he can't equip it, so... Oh, I can't... I can't give stuff to Hardy. He's a temporary member that just isn't even... You can't even look at his stuff. Now, just what the devil's up with this cave? Tis making a right Amadan out of me. I can't make away with the treasure. Well, you don't deserve it then. Fuck you. Looks like we're going to drop from above on all these little ledges. Oh. Yo, Anadolu Herb for the win. Are we going to get another raft? Or, or oh, you know what? We're gonna, probably going to drain the water. Lugworm and a vampire bed. Here we go. Damn, Hardy fucked that bat up. Get fucked, bat. All right, time to use some medicinal herbs. Press the button. Lower the water. You know it. Now we can get all the things, hopefully. Skeleton man. Fuck this vampire bat up. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. I do wish I would have had the money to hire the mage guy as well. I have enough now. Another anecdotal herb. And another chimera wing. Sweet. I could go flying back. That would save me time. It is kind of tempting, actually. Go through here with a full party. I mean, I'm sure that's kind of what they intend you to do. Another medicinal herb. Can't go back that way, really? Do I have to Chimera Wing out of here? Oh no, I can cross this bridge. Never mind. Sugar doo doo. Ooh, an Elipus, huh? He looks fun. Shook him! And now he's dead. Get fucked, homie. Alright, let me, let me use another medicinal herb on my boy Hardy. I don't need anybody dying on me. Oh, an Iron Lance. Hell yeah. Glad I didn't waste money on that. Hell 
Hell yeah. Give me that shit. Equip it. Bitchin. Baby back bitchin. Wait, how the fuck? Do I have to hit the switch to raise the water back up? Is that what they want me to do? I'm not 100% sure. But I got another Chimera wing. Nice. Can I raise the water back up? Is that an option? Let me go check. I don't really want to, but let's check. It's like, do they expect you to use a Chimera Wing in this area? Maybe they do, just to get out of here. Oh yeah, you definitely don't raise the water back up. Alright, then fuck it. Let's Chimera Wing the fuck out of here. I'm gonna go back to... Endor. Oh, I can't even use a Chimera Wing in here. How the fuck do I get out of here, then? Oh boy, here we go. The quest to figure out how to get the fuck out of here. My favorite. What the hell? Huh? I was trying to rotate the camera earlier. I don't think I can, but I'll, I'll try again. No, you can't rotate the camera here. Huh. I'm missing something. Alright, you gotta drop through. Alright, man. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it as always. Good sir. Have a good one. Hmm. What am I missing here? Can't seem to raise the water back up. Can't Chimera Wing out of here. Hardwood headwear. I already had one of those, right? I have a leather hat. It would be better. I'm missing a bridge, I guess. I mean, this is giving me an opportunity to grind a little bit for a Tornico. Oh my god. I'm dumb. Sorry. I'm fucking dumb. I'm fucking dumb. I know where to go. Don't worry. Don't mind me. I'm just a fucking dumb. Oy vey. <sighs> I didn't go underneath the bridge. I'm an idiot. Hey, a whole... Jeez. Uh, are we just going to give me all the cool stuff? Cool. I'm not complaining. Oh, he can't even equip the Holy Lance. Well, that's lame sauce. Uh, again, part of me kind of wants to leave here if the water stays lowered. Yeah, if the camera could be rotated in this dungeon, it would have been a lot easier. Agreed, X-Gamer. Agreed. Let me check this. I'm going to see if the water stays down. It does. Okay. In that case, awesome. Let's go get the other party member guy then. I'm just going to walk. It's not far. I was going to use Chimera Wing, but now there's no reason. It's not far at all. Yep. 
<laughs> oh, hiccup, burp kind of situation. Cool. Splatty Punk, fuck him up. Punky.exe has stopped working. What's up, Magnetes? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? All right, so the shop is not going to be open. The inn will be, though. Let's, uh... The guy I want to hire is here, so let's just go find him. Wait, what's up with this guy? Have you heard of Zamovka, the country to the west? There are people, people are gone missing there. Yeah. Saw that. It's fucked up. Whoa, who the hell's sleeping? Um, whatever. Let's just hire this guy. Anyway, services for hire. You're hired. Just don't fire me, he says. No promises. All right, so now we got a mage and a fighter. And Tornico's gone up a few levels from that dungeon, so maybe we'll be a little bit more of a formidable party, which will be nice. Who's sleeping over here? Hello? I don't know. If he knows the guy statue's in that cave, why can't he just go and get it? Oh, he's such a coward. All right, so that's... I mean, they all keep talking about the statue. It's definitely in the cave we're working on right now. Hold up. Hold up. Can I talk to you? Princess Elena was just amazing in the tourney. The way she fought, it was spectacular. Maybe I should start learning some weapon skills. You need a special permit to set up shop here, you know? Find King from King Norman. And the town's pretty much got all the shops it needs. Yeah, I already got my permission, so you can fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, that dude's name's Laurel, huh? Laurel and Hardy. Nice. It didn't even occur to me that we were going to get Laurel and Hardy. That's hilarious. All right, I have one, two, three medicinal herbs. Four and one in the inventory. Okay, yeah, so... I'm pretty sure... Dude already has leather shield, bronze armor, headwear. I can sell... Copper sword, leather hat, leather shield. I'll hold on to the Holy Lance for now. I meant to sell. Leather hat can go bye bye. Copper sword. And this leather shoe. What can I buy here? Iron apron. Uh, it's either that or the iron shield. This makes me go up eight defense. This makes me go up seven. Well, eight defense over seven, so. Plus, I can reduce damage from fire and ice based attacks. So, hell yeah, give me that shit. Nope, I'm good. I'm gonna sell my other shield, though. Alright, we're good. See ya. I know all my healing items are in my bag now, but that's fine. All right, who's ready for a three-man party? Let's go. All right, so we got a tag and a tag. Oh, I only get to control. I just realized now I'm also only controlling Tornico. Laurel and Hardy over here are going to do whatever they want. I learned treasure. Is that the ability I just learned? Nose for treasure. Reports the number of nearby treasures. Huh. That's kind of cool. I'm guessing it's on the screen that you're on. It'll tell you all the treasures on that particular screen. It's pretty bitchin'. Alright, let's finish this dungeon, shall we? Finish strong. Okay, so that's just a dead end. For now. I should have known Hardy was doing whatever he wanted when he was attacking not the same person as me sometimes. 
That makes more sense now. Wow. Fizzled up Laurel over here, Mr. Magic Man. Also, yo, I just got a free iron armor. Wow. Enemies are dropping way more stuff for Tornico than I have ever seen on any of the other characters so far. Damn, Laurel with his Sizomatic. Tornico and I'm the best fighter in the game, but his magic can be useful if used right. That remains to be seen. Hey, I got another suit of iron armor. He can't wear that, right? Just to confirm. Yeah, I got two suits of iron armor in a row, and I can't wear either of them. That's cool. Also, the water drained into this room, so this is how you get the treasure. Makes sense. It just occurred to me what room we're in. I suppose that works. Hey, and we got a steel broadsword, which, again, I don't think he can equip, but I'll check. No. Getting all these good weapons for characters we don't got. Empty chest. Empty chest. I want the freaking things, man. A ton of water was after pouring in me head and just now, and I nearly drowned, so I did. But there's a silver lining like. Now I can at least get at me treasure. <laughs> I'll be making tracks then. Only how am I supposed to get out of here now? Well, you took my treasure. I don't care. Figure your own shit out. Peace out, bitch. Oaken Club. Alright, this might be the end of the dungeon right here. Yes, sir. This looks like it. Yo, 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 silver goddess statue. Hell yeah, that's what we came for, players. Let's get the fuck out of here.